John Silverman, BBC News. That great British invention, the hovercraft, will make its final journey across the Channel this weekend. The operator, Hover Speed, is replacing its two hovercraft with high-speed catamarans, able to carry more cars. The hovercraft service began 30 years ago. George Eakin has taken one of its last flights. They are awesome. They're still the fastest way to get to France, and they're still profitable. But the cross-channel hovercraft are for the chop. In this business, competing with the Channel Tunnel, packing in the cars is the key to maximum profits. The hovercraft just doesn't take enough, and it only operates in daylight. The Sea Cat lurks, waiting to take over on Monday. But those who fly it say the hovercraft has a cult following. Oh, people come from all over the world. Uh, every day, people uh, would just stand here, like uh, watching an aircraft arrive. People stand here watching this great machine coming in. We were to travel on the Princess Anne, which at 22 minutes holds the record for the fastest channel crossing. The bouncing cockpit could be from an old Russian helicopter, and she guzzles gas, almost a tonne of it to reach France. Looking out at her propellers, it seemed obvious that the hovercraft was made by the same firm that built the flying boats. As we approached land, a group of French fans were waiting to say adieu. On Sunday, they'll organise a parade of small hovercraft as a final salute. Well, for us, we are very sad about that because we, we love hovercraft. We are all addicts to hovercraft. It's very triste. <laughs> it's sadness. Yes, it's sadness because uh, I'm very enthusiastic for hovercraft. So a chapter which started in the experimental bathtubs of the inventor Sir Christopher Cockerell comes to a close. In 1968, he sensed a potential world beater. All the world will be watching this first operation. And how important is the fact that it's going to be using the channel? Very important indeed, indeed again, because the channel is, the, I think, our shop window for hovercraft. But the government made it too expensive for others to use the patent. Hovercraft joined the long list of great British ideas that weren't fully exploited. Sir Christopher died last year, knowing the days of cross-channel hovercraft were numbered. During their lifetime, the hovercraft have carried more than 80 million passengers across the channel, built to last about a decade. Instead, these trusty workhorses have clocked up 33 years. I think one should be preserved for the nation because it's a bit of British history, maritime history. They've earned their places in the history book. They should be alongside the Caddy Sark, the Victory, and other great marine history of Britain. The Channel hovercraft's last flight is on Sunday evening. Hover speeds say it'll be a sellout. George Eakin, BBC News, Calais. And the main news again tonight. The government says its policy on the euro won't change because of Denmark's decision.